Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Justin. We're Steven. And this is episode 115 of Dating Podcast. In this episode, we have a special guest here that most likely you probably won't be able to see unless I pull out my phone and actually record a little video of him. Is an old uh, subscriber of ours. Can I say old? I mean, like, relevant subscriber. Merrick Lakey, ladies and gentlemen, as I pull up the video right now of this guy's beautiful face as he's holding a Pokemon card what the right there. Like and the intern being loud. That's a city Pokemon card, a French Pokemon card. What the fuck? Oh, it's much more valuable here. France, okay. France. Oh. Okay, that's a France. Oh, shoot, that's Bayleaf. Ah, oh, Bayleaf, though. And uh, just kind of pointing at the camera over here, that Trishan's over there just playing COD. And a match of zombies. Yeah, and apparently Bayleaf and fucking French is like the Marconium. Okay, so... Yeah, that's the French pond, all sorts of freaky things. Mamma <laughs> mia. So, uh, Merrick, do you want to introduce yourself to, like, at least vocally to our audience here? Who is, who's going to watch? Including yourself? Oh, come on, nobody needs no introductions. I'm Neither, just Trey John. Neither. The internet. Okay, well... I guess for <laughs> the... I guess for the people at home, uh, Merrick has been a subscriber to us since... Well, I guess just to make it more vague and more accurate in that way, just since the reactions, and uh, he's been contacting us here and there. He's been sending us some like interesting like artwork and stuff, fan art, like over Twitter and such. And yeah, uh, right now he uh, we we're doing this little collaboration, just kind of being able to talk about whatever we've had like uh, conversations with him in the past. In which case, we didn't really record because none of us were ready for an actual video collaboration in any kind of sense. He weren't ready. He Not wasn't ready, ready for that. He wasn't ready. My Kevin Hart impression. She wasn't ready. But yeah, uh, Merrick, as you you said to me, uh, you have a whole bunch of questions Whoa. for us. Just kind of like in your noggin. So uh, I guess we'll kind of work off of that and uh, we'll just kind of go by like 30 minutes, 40 minutes and that should be good. Uh, I mean like most of my questions are gonna be about like Cheryl Fats and like hey, where oh, you yeah, see your job going and all that. Or, uh, things uh, things uh, things you know the basic things. stuff that any sort of radio show host with that has some sort of celebrity, you know. I guess so. All right. It's not like I know anything about this, so it's all yours. So what do you we uh, get uh, digging into the uh, juicy uh, stuff or something like that? Juicy mm. stuff. Like he I wants the juicy right, stuff, right, Stephen. Just your fruit. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. As we all know, when Pokemon Go is a new world, it has been getting quite popular in the days. Pokemon Go? Now, yes, me as the sad man who yeah. doesn't have a smartphone strong enough to handle the game, oh. and been quite spiteful because of it, yeah. it's... How do you feel the game's been going? Has it been going in the right direction, the wrong direction? What sort of thing? favorite Pokemon so far? What's going on? So, essentially yeah. our thoughts on, like, Pokemon Go, then. They're getting better, the stupid retarded glitches. Alright, that's Steven's take on it. My take on it is that, um, Wait, it's definitely a very... I love it. It's definitely building on um, Google Maps Pokemon Challenge, if you remember that from, like, a previous year with April Fools, where Google Maps allowed there to be Pokemon on the map in 2D sprites. And you have to just go to like whatever location, just like tap on it, and you just catch it. It's like, okay, cool. You caught, you caught this. You have like 150 more to actually capture now, and that includes me, which is like wherever. And at first, I thought that was super cool. We even did like a parody video on that. And as far as Pokemon Go is, it's like the next big step towards that. And I think that's a really good move. So how do you like just for like the Pokemon Company as well as Nilantic? or Niantic to do is to just kind of like bring it all to life and at first it was just cool but it was like super glitchy like you weren't able to get into the servers most of the time and during this, and when you were in the servers and uh, you try to capture a Pokemon it would sometimes freeze where it'd be like a toss up whether or not you actually caught the Pokemon or not so, yeah, was, so when it froze there's a 50% chance you caught it or you didn't it's like the moment you toss the Pokeball and it captures the Pokemon inside, you'll see like on the corner there's like a spinning Pokeball. It just oh, wow. pretty much tells you that it's auto-saving. 
and that's that's the at that point it's already determined whether it's captured or not. Whoa, whoa, he's America. I heard like a little bit of squealing there. I was wondering if you were okay. No, the thing is, as most should know, I'm a very dark humor person, a very dark-hearted person. So I like to be spiteful towards anything I can't have, which also means that I have extreme cases of jealousy. Oh, you sound so, just like gay. Hearing all of this shit just makes me happy because I could just spite Pokemon Go players everywhere. <laughs> Feel the wrath of a man who has Android a 4.1 on his goddamn phone. Alright, what's the next one? Yeah. I mean, not everyone has access to Pokemon Go. And honestly, like, if you don't have it, you can pretty much live without it. It's not something they absolutely need. It's just like... Let's try and it's prove just a, a point like Gabriel. Yeah, where he's, he's doing that as spite too. Uh, it's pretty much just a fab, and that's it. A fad. And that's that's you know what the stupid thing is. What's that? Like, like uh, I was hyping this game up on my own channel with a little mini series is about um, theorizing about what could possibly be in the game, and then when the game came out and the OS necessary I didn't have, I was like, mm, yeah. gotta destroy some garages tonight. Gotta go do that demolition work that I've been holding out for for a few weeks now. Smashing bridges, smashing houses, smashing in all sorts of places. You know, fun stuff. Using dynamite. Whoopee! Lucky. Using that dynamite. But, uh... I wish I had dynamite. I think... I mean, definitely... You must have the explosives, man. I mean, obviously, the people, the designers are getting a lot from like all this publicity with Pokemon Go and just all the users on the app itself, and so most likely it's going to get better. Um, most likely, it won't really show up on any like previous version of the phones that they've already established would be like the basics of what you need to you be able to play it. So, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, the new stupid shit where like you're, I'm a passenger. <laughs> oh, have you have you gotten that? All yeah. right, so Merrick, there's uh, there's been new updates to Pokemon Go, where yeah, I know about them. Oh yeah, the whole GPS thing, like catching, like you yeah, going you're going too fast. fast. Oh, you just put I'm a passenger. What if it's his driver put and uh, he puts it, I'm a passenger? <laughs> no, I swear, I was in the middle of uh, just like walking, swear. right? Uh -huh. Like this is like second gear walking, as in like like gear shift two walking, as in going slower. It still caught me as, hey, you're going too fast, man. Are you a passenger? I'm like, yes. Wow. I don't know, my GPS is also kind of like all over the place, depending on that. Like, I'll be like instantly teleporting from like one place to another, like, real quick. You're too fast. They can't keep up with your ninja speed. Yeah. Or, or at least I don't have a phone like yours, Steven, that just kind of like, what is GPS? That piece of shit. It, it said I was in San Bernardino when I was in Los Jesus. Angeles. Oh. I, I hate my GPS. It's just, I mean, not everyone has, like, even when they're able to play the game, doesn't mean it's always going to work. And that's the sad thing about it. But yeah, that's pretty now much Let it. me bring up a little bit of a quandary. You know how the game has been oh, spread yeah. around the world yeah. by now? Yeah. Like, places like Japan, for instance. Oh, yeah. Do you know what some fun Japanese citizens have been doing about this? Oh, yeah loop around uh, that you're going too fast for your own good they've been using model fucking trains putting their phones on them and just letting them run around in a circle because the model train is so goddamn slow oh the phone won't register it as car speed oh so it's like walking speed so they're able to hack yeah, their things like going in circles going in circles collecting all those goddamn pokemon that I would ever want <laughs> but at the end of the day, like the Pokemon Go, it it does bring people together. You you do meet people that you don't normally meet or even talk to. It's amazing how people are still lazy about it. Oh. People are still lazy about it, and that's going to be a thing that oh always my. happens. I fucking so hate you guys. It's it's hate up it, it's up there. Yeah, but they should calm down with the fucking eggs, man. That's too far. I mean, they're trying to stimulate it. I get it, and they want us to be more active about it. 
still, fuck. They want you to socialize. They want you to make it so you don't have to pay a uh, four hundred bucks for a psychologist. That too. And they also want you to just try Social to be anxiety, fed. man. It's disappearing nowadays. <laughs> they want you to get those Pokemon Go legs at the end of the day. It's like nice never leading. Skip leg leg day. You will never be able to skip leg day if you want that executor or at the <laughs> end of the road. <laughs> That's true. Best leg day, such muscle, such wow. Such wow. There's like, I feel like there's two types of like Pokemon Go players. Massive Doge. Those are ones who, who are kind of like me, who are trying to find like three Poke Stops and just sit there. And there's actual people who walk around and try to look for Poke Stops and Pokemon. But otherwise. All in the fucking stores doing that bullshit where they're being, playing favorites. Yeah. I mean, a lot of like stores are kind of like getting some like benefits from it. Like, for example. Team, it's the team. It's the team brother. It's yourself, that percentage, man. Percentage off, man. You want that Starbucks coffee 5% and more free? Then be part of Team Valor because uh, they're gonna rage all over your ass if you're not a part of that team. Yeah. yeah. Alright, Merrick, you know you're not playing the game. What team would you be on? Mm. Well, on the same considering team. the fact that most people perceive me as an intellectual, you would think Team Mystic, but I'm going to wake straight up Valor because I'm a rage filled person. Yeah! You picked right, son. We're Team Valor. The Valor fans here. He chose something I'm going to say, close the laptop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary, we're going to have to close this conversation. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> we're sorry. This connection there. Don't think I have. Uh, not enough key pictures to Photoshop you in there. <laughs> I got cruelty cake, um, and I got a weird game, man. Just, I got weird. You got weird. Isn't mostly just I love to ruin people's mystic? lives, man. Because yeah. I don't see no that much me. instinct. Yeah, instincts like not so popular. Although is, is that why they're making so many memes where team instincts is a joke? Yeah, unfortunately, because. <laughs> Despite the team he's leader, he's the underdog. Sparks is leading the underdog. What Sparks are you gonna underdog, do? But he's also super sometimes. cool looking. Why is Why is Sparks gotta be like the coolest looking leader out of all of them? Like our leader is pretty cool. Spark is pretty cool too. And Mystic Geasley eh, or her, his? Not nah, no. It's supposed to be a her, most likely. It's a woman. It's Listen. a woman one. This is a transvestite. I didn't pay attention. Let's just say it's a, not established yet. It's a Futanari, goddammit. <laughs> Alright. Next uh, level shit. Alright, man. Uh, do you have any other questions for us? Of course. Don't even worry about it. We got loads of questions. Nice. And we got all the questions to ruin the fucking world. You know. Oh, let's, let's save those so, ones for later. <laughs> huh? Let's save those, like, ruin the world later. Let's get to, like... I don't know. The, let's go to the small talk, the nice and chill talk. That doesn't really mean much, but it means a lot in this situation. Oh, look at him get slick out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, let's go on about your channel a little bit, shall we? Oh, the channel. So, oh, shoot, you want how to do you about feel that you've been doing? What have we been doing? We've been. Now, how do you feel that you've been doing? Um, yeah, I'll try. Mm. We're transitioning. Mm. Like ever since like we stopped reactions like back in February, late February, the channel has kind of like lost its momentum, and we've been trying to like try to do our own thing, but then, like my schedule started to become like even more packed than usual, and so it's like shoot, we don't have time to film all these cool things like skits and whatnot, because that takes a lot more time, so we need to make something a little bit easier to film, like a little bit faster. So we can continue to put content on the channel. and But that hasn't really brought in momentum because a lot, a lot of our subscribers, including you, Merrick, actually, came for the reactions. Yeah. And a good number of people have just kind of like tuned out once we've stopped reactions. Some... Hey, think about it this way. I came for the reactions, I stayed for the people. And that's what I hope would happen, that's at least. Nice. And it looks like a lot of people are doing that, too. 
It's just like a lot of people are not so engaged, just like adding comments, which I really liked <coughs> about the uh, reactions was that it brought a lot of people together, just adding comments. And I like responding to them. But that's, for the most part, a lot of that's gone. I've seen oh, yeah, a little bit more yeah, nowadays, yeah. which I really appreciate. But otherwise, I'm trying to bring back that cool part about the reactions, which was like our discussions and talking to the, the fans. So we did bring back reactions, but it's definitely toned down where we're not putting, oh, yeah, we're not showing the entirety of the content. And now we're actually, well, <clears throat> this will be released later for the audience. We're trying to do something on our Patreon page where they'll do a full reaction to something, but on our YouTube channel it will be just kind of discussions. So I guess it's like it's those just heavily heavily discussions there, full reactions on Patreon, and you won't really you won't pay much less than one dollar for a month for the reactions. So I'm hoping that it'll help out with the Patreon page there. And it just got, it'll ultimately help out, and yeah, ultimately you just gotta tease them a little, tease them a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of like my messed up answer for that. Mess There's no other out. way. <laughs> it's not mess. Well, I don't think it's like messed up as an evil. I'm just thinking that that's that's kind of like my scattered thinking of it because I don't think that it was really coherent. But, hey, yeah. just now listen up here, because I'm about to spit some YouTube knowledge on your white ass. What? So, as we all know, reaction videos, they're some sort of a cream of the crop, but they're becoming more generic. Like, people need, need to do something to spice it up somehow. Now, mm -hmm. uh, when you stop your reaction videos, a lot of people people turned a little bit salty hard, because they can't get the same sort of viewing pleasure of a reaction video uh, from others because you were doing something right and that's the thing and most likely it's the fact that you had multiple pe people there at the same time not like how fine bros do it that they record each individual individually but that you had Everybody at the same time spewing out their, their opinions and discussing it every little bit, even during the video, which pissed stuff some people. But mm -hmm. uh, people got over that saltiness. Yeah. So yeah, of course they were be a little bit yeah. well anal about uh, when your reaction videos would uh, go poof, literally. Right. Like it was a surprise to me as well. Oh, that just like a few hundred videos just went kapow. Like, what? Yeah. Like what off happened? the radar. What the fuck happened? I work fast with that kind of stuff. <laughs> but I mean, think about it this way: it could also be concluded as a strategic move because almost at the time that your reaction videos went all poof, a lot of copyright problems were happening on YouTube to all sorts of content creators. Like they were getting fucked in the ass even a little bit, and if they. They put up something that they didn't own fully. Like, yeah. Fuck. Like shit got real, man. Shit got real. Yeah, people getting like shot down left and right. And here I am like looking at it all. And I also watched like um what was it? Uh uh I'm drawing a blank on the guy's vid on the guy's channel. No, like, you know You know what I'm talking about? Pursue was talking about how reactions are dead and stuff thing. like that. Uh, you definitely know what I'm talking about, right? Just like the guy who's completely drawn in, right? <coughs> no. No? I don't even know what you know. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm just like I don't hey, remember the name at the moment. Are you sure you're not talking about somebody else? Because I don't remember. It, it's his video that convinced me that like what we're doing is wrong. What we're doing is uh, um shit. Um uh, I mean, as long as you ask permission and you got the copyright a legal Whole thing written in your I can't description. Remember, but I know who you're talking about. In the video, yeah. Oh, you can't get fucked in the ass. Technically, Technically. But those third party companies they fuck you in the ass anyway. Okay, so it's a great. They, they fuck you no matter what. <laughs> but yeah, it was grade A under A's video about reactions <laughs> that convinced me, like, oh, hey, God, what we're doing is stealing. We should we should cut that out. <laughs> 
But yeah, what you're saying is true, Merrick. If, if we had, like, permission from the YouTube like, creators, which we had a few of them actually get their consent about it. A few of them. <laughs> like, uh, Bren Rogers, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Raka Raka. Yeah, those two, I remember specifically. They were like, yeah, totally cool. Yeah, um, yeah, it's totally yeah, cool. Or at least they left comments, like, in our videos saying, like, hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and stuff like that. Mm. But yeah, um,. I don't know, like I was, recently I've been watching like some reaction videos, specifically on like animation, just kind of seeing like what the the community via the comments are saying about it. Some people don't really care, people are just like requesting for like reactions, some people, there's a few people who say like, you're, so you're taking all this hard work, putting over your video and calling it a video, and stuff like that. So there's definitely still some like negativity towards that. And that's something I kind of want to avoid because I kind of want the that's channel to be- That's going to be a soap, man. So There's going to be a little bit in every YouTube channel. I think everybody enjoyed the, the reaction videos because it was a group thing. It wasn't just one person. Of like, course, yeah. I like, I don't know why Jinx has subscribers. Because he's just like, good video. <laughs> it's, well, like, it's, it's argument. It's arguable because like the sub bots they had. No, was... seriously, that guy should not have any subscribers. Like, I don't know why people watch it. Let's think about it this way: there might be only one reason that they're coming there. It might be just us, the fact that oh, he's just okay. a little bit harder than your average man. You know, all the ladies they get there, put his wet even a little bit. He just has a stupid that, face. Not so wet going, through the man. whole video, like. Well, to, yeah, 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 yeah. well, to be fair, we've had those moments before too. Yeah, but it's every fucking video. I've seen like I don't know a few videos, and they it's just the same face. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I guess enough about that. I don't know. And don't worry, he's mostly high most of the time. He's like smoking all that and fur off that tiger that that's that, that, fur, that, that, oh, damn. that fur tiger. Light it up, smoke it up. Oh yeah. shit, baby. Oh, damn. Damn, it's hot. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, like I don't want to be against the goddamn so hillbilly again. Woo wee! Okay, <laughs> well, who's I gonna go with that? <laughs> I don't know. We're trying to bring reactions. Maybe this is like why most people think I'm like, like South American. Woo wee! Oh, but, I can try for. A yeah, I I'm trying to make reactions all like our reactions specifically much better on YouTube, where it's like we're not showing the content. That's what the discussion, uh, dang, it's all about. And uh, people, at first, like, people were complaining about, like, how there weren't, there wasn't content, or at least they were wanting content on the, the video, I mean, at least. I mean, yeah. can't you just show that one part where we are? Yeah, that's why, that's what I've been doing now. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm wondering, like, part of me's concerned whether or not that's still, like, hey! something that might happen. Also, Gabe entered the building. So what did we just watch? Yeah. Uh, we are not. We are watching Merrick as we are talking to him. Uh, yes. If that makes sense. No. I mean, think about it this way. What smell? The copyright DMC law says that I mean, you that can guy. have a few seconds no, of no, some no, sort no, of a no, clip no. from something no, no. that you it's don't own in your video, no. as long as it's not too long. Not me. So if you cut up those clips and put it at different times in your video, then that's completely legal. Yeah. Usually. It's all about What's knowing the DMC, hey, man. So they don't fuck you in the ass later today. Woo wee! Yeah. Then like MCA fucking everybody in the ass in and 2016. Woo! But then it does come down to like, oh, Steven's gonna spray something. Watch out. Yeah, like. Okay. I'll, I'll spray some more. Okay, so apparently it smells over here. I don't really pick it up right now. But, uh. I've been in here all day. I just. I fucking walked um, in, that was the first thing I saw. What was I, like, what was I gonna say? Uh, totally forgot what I was gonna say. No, I just don't worry. worry. If it doesn't smell like something, can, it'll soon smell like, like, well, like either thing. dust or like somebody's ass. Like whipped cream and styrofoam. Oh, wow. Or maybe something more nasty. You never know. You never know these days. Well, now it smells like, like deodorant. Like they could fuck you up real good. Mm. Woo, wait. Snort some of that deodorant. No, you don't. Because I fucking down there. Oh. Just don't. Oh. Well, I fucked up. Yeah, I know that. that that's not a fragrance. That's a germ killer. I'm probably, probably going to lose it. Don't worry. We're not germs yet. It's bad spray. You get the sizzle sound eggs on your laptop. But yeah, Ooh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, if you, like, if you split up the clips all over the place, then 
technically, uh, based on like what content kind of content the video itself is, that's like putting all these videos, pacing it all, it should be like kind of original. It should be considered original, and that's what people have been doing like as far as reactions because there are a lot of reactions out there. They are. There are a lot of them, but some like but we kind of like rose kind of rose above it at, at the time. Yes, yes we did. But oh, wait, that's kind of a tangent. What I was going to say is that, uh, yeah, with the current discussion format, it's like spreading all of, all of it around. So, like, um, the automated YouTube system can't really pick it out unless it's, like, a really long video. But then there's still, like, third parties that can manually go in there and just check on it. And I have that feeling that if they see that and they don't really like it... Just don't do anything Nintendo-related. We've been doing a lot of things Nintendo-related, but we were okay with that. Because it's, it's borderline game stuff for some reason. I don't know. I mean, think about it this way. I don't know. Nintendo is like any other game company. They like it when you advertise their game with some of that good damn some gameplay. And if you had good commentary, oh boy, they'll be just creeping their pants all night long. Yeah. Not really. You think? No, do you remember Nintendo would charge you for using their content? Well, at the time, yeah. We've been doing like Tokyo Mirage sessions, which is an it's a Wii U game, so it's Nintendo, but I haven't gotten anything about that, which is weird. So I'm wondering like what's going on. So I'm just gonna. You know there is some sort of um, I don't remember what exactly it is, but there's a list of games that like Nintendo is like greenlit that you can play a as long as it's in that list. So you never know, maybe a, that good old. Old Japanese game that you're blind right now. Oh, uh, maybe that's in that list. Hmm. There's a lot of games in there. Hmm. Yeah. A lot of old titles, a lot of new titles. Mostly, not a lot of Fire Emblem for some reason. Like, where the fuck is my Fire Emblem, man? I want my content. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. But yeah, um, yeah, we're working with things. the The plan is now with discussion. Dang it, we're gonna just have it just strictly discussion only and no flashback content whatsoever and then on our patreon page it's kind of like a full reaction no com no content but you know it'll be linked in our description where you can just like sync it up manually and so it's still okay on as far as patreon's um terms of use so that's pretty much like what we're doing planning on doing see if it works Ooh, man i'm already from saying all that stuff. Well, it was a lie. You, it sounded like you needed a breath, man. Yeah. Shoot. Breathe, man. Breathe. So we have like... That's how life is. You need to breathe to live. <laughs> so yeah, if you like, don't breathe, well, then you're dead. Or you're suffocating, either one. I think we have time for one more question. How about <clears throat> Merrick? What you got for us? Hmm. A question, man. Right? Maybe more of a experiment. All right, sorry, it's in America. I, I cut got, off. I'm just, got, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I got, got this good old old Twitter open here right now. Oh, and I just so happened to have some of sort of an interesting picture that I'd like to see a clear live reaction to. If you don't get my meaning. Okay. Uh, how are you going to show it to us? Very yeah, simple. Just pull up Twitter on your phone. Who okay. knows? <laughs> okay. Alright, what am I looking for? Oh, you'll see it soon enough, man. You'll see it soon enough. Uh, let me just see how fast my computer works here. Uh, it sort of has slowed down because it's trying to run three programs at the same time. Um, it's having like. I got a world of a time. Oh, wait. Ah, here's the little experiment and photo. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got it. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Alright, uh, Merrick, is it okay if I show, like, the internet this, like, when I actually post this video up? Of this image. <laughs> no problem. It's all, right. all part of an experiment. Eh? Alright. Social yeah. experiment. 
<laughs> so, w- what you got here is um, me and David doing a Let's Play of uh, Doom, as we are doing right now. And uh, we are cleverly photoshopped just right into this. It's kind of hard for me to really describe. Basically, I'm handling the chain gun, and David's just kind of like there, side commenting. In a suit. In a suit. <laughs> but yeah, this, that's pretty top notch, Merrick. It's pretty top notch. Like, probably like your best work yet. <laughs> oh, that's and more to come, for sure. Alright. I think we, we can call it good for this one. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, cool. Thanks for so, thanks so much for talking to us, Merrick. It's been three, we've done this like yeah, three times. Yeah, it's sort of well, that's because, like, for the past couple of times we've done it, we just kind of extended it to, like, two hours, or three. And that's because the shit didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of gave up halfway, but yeah, we finally did it. Yay! Patience comes virtue. Alright, so I guess we can just end here. So, thank you guys so much for watching episode 115 of Dating Podcast, featuring Merrick Lakey. My name is Justin. Steven. And thanks for watching. Hashtag bye!